rich better have my money. Going to do a little Obama stuff today. We haven't talked to you since uh, the election. Yeah, but quite frankly, before you go, I just like to say, yep, everywhere in the streets, uh, they're asking me with serious concern: oh. Is Anthony all right? Is with disappointment and pain, <laughs> with pain and suffering in their heart, and it's uh, he's really bothered. It's quite by sad. He sounds like a raving lunatic. I, I wish he was here. Today. A raving. Because between Lunatic. you and him, it would be some great stuff. And I feel bad. Because uh, people are sitting, uh, Patrice, is, is, is Anthony? Like, almost like, I know that radio is radio and it's entertainment and, boy, you got to push buttons. But it's almost like, dude, it's feeling it's feeling real. Yeah. And I, I say it, it is. And then I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dirty racist. <laughs> Anthony's just scared <laughs> of what? And but you know, well, I just wanted to let you, that little part yeah. is that it's it's really. I, I I've gotten the same thing actually on the street. So, but <laughs> <laughs> is everything know. okay? He's a, yeah. Well, and I go ultimately. This one, uh, this one bothered him a little bit. Oh, it it's it, uh, a bit bothered. It's an irrational fear. I come and back. I have, and I have a little bit of I have some some I just sometimes I just want to call in in the morning but I don't want to step over there. I just oh want I God. listen and but those phone things I just want to look him in his eyes yeah and embrace <laughs> the energy of what is in his eyes when he's talking. I just want to see it before I really know. On the radio sounds he sounds like a complete ass. A complete <laughs> ass, because I know how smart he is, and I know he's what unra he's what this unraveling is a little bit. He's unraveling. This, this is, well, you know. I, but I, I, we'll get your yeah, thoughts on the whole yeah. thing after the break. Okay, and maybe we can wake up Anthony, or maybe he didn't go to bed. Yes, we'll get him before he goes to bed. I'm sure they was hunting. Uh, they caught some um, homeless black man somewhere, and his family was hunting him down last night <laughs> in the woods. I'm probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> So we got Patrice O'Neill. Uh, it's pro Obama Day finally. Yes, we get a word in today because um, Anthony <laughs> is uh, out. He'll be back tomorrow. He was celebrating his um, mommy's twenty uh, fifth anniversary. Yep, that's what he said with Baltimore <clears throat> sale. See if there's any missing homeless black men. So uh, a light bulb went off in my head. I'm like, get Patrice. We get to get the other side of the story well, with this should, Obama being me the why he's talking. president elect. I, well, you could call it any time you want. You yeah. got that. God damn you got that power. You should have called in when he was ranting and raving. I'm just taking it in just to see what his stance was. Beyond yeah. the anger, ultimately, it's it's nothing new to me. Something new to a lot of people, not to me. Not not what he's saying, but just the attitude. I already, I already know. White people are fake. I'm, I'm and not happy. Anthony. I'm happy Obama's uh, going to be the next president. No, Jimmy's very happy. I'm happy I wanted him to win. Well, Believe me, I'd tell you if I didn't. Your mind is different, though. You know, Anthony still, like I said, he still wants to attach himself. It's almost like that, that keeping it real thing. Anthony still wants to attach himself to the to the local schlub whose hands are busted up and the garbage men and the... He's not that guy anymore. He wants to so be that, but he's a he's a, I don't he's know. a millionaire, and he's thinking. He, there's no way he can think. See, if it was about money, he wouldn't be that emotional. Money doesn't make you scream and holler about taxes and stuff. There's too many ways for people with money to hide money and do goofy things. This is emotional, and his emotion is is touching uh, dumb white people. That's what bothers me about it. It's just touching white people. Who aren't smart enough to know that the president uh, can really do nothing to affect just one group? You know, it, it, it is you have to. It's it's very. Who affects is is policies, law policies. You know, police can affect one group. Putting your hands on somebody, it's white cops. What are you going to change the infrastructure of what racism is now? See, racism used to be, uh, it, it used to be. Legislation wise, it was able, you was able to be racist. See, the, here's the fear that Anthony has, and I heard it a couple of times with the uppity thing is that here's some white people, and I'm, I'm gonna think as a white guy, and what would make me mad. You've never, as a white person, had to ever answer in this country to a black guy. And, and anyway, it's almost like having a dog or a kid. Whatever your way of dealing with those people, your dog or your you or dealing with that you know is crate training better than rolling up a newspaper and hit him in the face some people roll a newspaper up hit him in the face some people crate train their dog ultimately at the end of the day the dog doesn't get a choice you 
you're ultimately deciding whether that's the right way to do it or not. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So for this country, um, white people, when I say white, it's, it's, it's institutional white. It's not just, I don't look at anybody, any white dude particularly as my oppressor. It's, it's this country. And, the, and, black, and white people just don't want to see, like even I heard a story the other day, I, um, I was listening to the replay coming over. His, the, the thing where he's upset is that, there's some black people that all they got is to be proud of any black person that that makes it through a system that they think has been holding them down. That was the OJ verdict. The OJ verdict had nothing to do with OJ. It was just, oh man, he beat that system. He he was a black dude that had the resources to beat that. Woo! That was it. That's all it was. But white people don't want to see that happen. And it's and the, and the, and ultimately, here's what I say about the race part. The all the the thing is. This is the only people in this country who are defined by color is white and black. So really, Obama is half African, who black people don't like, half white, who black people don't like. He's he doesn't have that that generation of institutionalized anger. Right. He had to be that special dude to, to win this. But the fact that his skin is what it is makes it. The problem is, but it's also how he identifies himself. One thing, just to say, because you've touched on the race, it's that it's it's not just dumb white people. It's it's like it's not just a matter of thinking like, oh my god, all black people are gonna or run the country. It's the fear that's happening with a lot of people. It's this irrational thing where it's a black face in a typically white office, and it's like it, as irrational. Like you know, they said a lot of black people are unhappy and can be disappointed because it's the first one. A lot of white people that are really disappointed and frightened are going to realize, oh, what was I, what was I worried about? It, it's working that way both ways. Like a lot of black people are too excited because they think something is going to happen different that really isn't, and a lot of white people are depressed because they think something. But those people are in isn't. the same category. This is what I'm saying about about how we all think. See, I'm not I'm not uh, eliminating black people from the problem either, because a lot of black people think that the black president is going to do something black for them. I've heard some of the goofy things. But those goofy black people are just as stupid as goofy white people who think that this is going to change. All this is, really, what this does is to me, it just gives me the opportunity. Because not, it, it, I want, the equality to me is when a black person, a mediocre black person, can be put into a spectacular position. Obama had to be almost Messiah-like, the, the lore. Of this guy, I want to see Arnold Schwarzenegger is the governor of of California. I'm just looking at his face. Mm -hmm. He is mediocre from head to toe. <laughs> the the spectacular thing that he is is a, is he was a spectacular weightlifter. He's not a spectacular guy. He's not a spectacular leader. His movies weren't spectacular. They were great in terms of entertainment, but he's a he's really a mediocre guy. What it, it's just like a black quarterback right now. There's enough black quarterbacks for me to go, please fire him. Mm -hmm. There's enough mediocre black coaches to go, please fire him. The coach from Pittsburgh is a spectacular young black coach. But Herm Edwards has to go. Remove from football in terms of head coaching. <laughs> what has he done, really? Mediocre. What is Herm Edwards? Doesn't know. Romeo Cremel uh, from Cleveland. Got to go. But. That's what I want. Is that the next black president can't be? But if they were the all only, things. Hold up, but if they were the only black coaches, then you wouldn't say they have to go. It, exactly. That's where, that's where it if gets it was weird just one, and right. that was it, yeah. then you then, would, then I'd be like, hey, he got to stay, because there's not any. But my thing is, it's all a symbol for me. Mm. My what? Because I knew what, what, what I was watching the, the the election with my girl. My girl got a white mama. And she goes, she stands up and she just, she goes, yes, 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 right? And I'm like, wow, all right. And she's like, yeah, call me black now. I go, excuse me? Call me black. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? You know, my girl's half black, half white. You know how half black, half white girls look, you know, got some white things and some black things. Mm -hmm. Black lips, white hair, you know? So she's like, yeah, if you're going to call him black, you call me black. I go, what? I said, you look like Sarah Palin, right? <laughs> So I'm joking with her. Sarah Palin with a tan. <laughs> she walks in the in the room and wets her hair so it can get curly. 
and say, I don't, I don't have no white people here. I'm black. And if you're going to call him black, you got to call me black. Ah! She was like, crazy. So I'm sitting there going, this is this really means a lot to a lot of people. But immediately my mind is going, all right. But can, I, can I stop? So she would downsize the black part of her? No, she because she wanted like assimilate more into the white world. No, she's upgrading. Now she's upgrading the black, the black side. part because I get that, but she's she hates the way she she wants she's black. But before that, she would like like make sure her hair straight and all that to maybe like fit in a little more in the white world. Nah, I mean, look. Let's... And now that Obama's president, she's like, ah, oh, man, I'm letting the black hang out now. No. All right, because I'm a little no. It, it it's something that only she can understand. See what I'm saying? It's like something that I couldn't. I was teasing her. But the fact that when, when I said she went to wet her hair, the only thing that that made that happen is that I said, wow, she's serious. She's dead serious that she went to go wet her hair to say, no, no, I'm not a white woman. I'm not this. I'm not that. She, It was something that only someone mixed race could. I still don't know what it was that made her deeply feel that way. But when I'm watching that, because I was sitting there. Going, all right, what's this next? What's, what do white people want out of this one? That's the first thing I'm thinking. I said, why, one thing I know, white people won't give it nothing for free racially. It ain't happening. But that, hold on, that's not completely the truth. I mean, maybe, the, again, the certain institution, but this guy got a lot of white people voted for him. Here's what we said. Look, first of all, the it was almost split down the middle. What you say, 130 million people uh, started? Voted, sure. It was almost even. It was every black person Almost every Latino person, almost every Jew, almost every minority, plus some white people. Yeah. I don't know how many. More than John Kerry got. Who cares? That's a lot, though. That's a lot. And they're, it's Democrat, Republican, and no one, and, no, and, and that was with compelling. This it, People were compelled emotionally to vote. John Kerry versus Bush, people just voted for what they voted for. This one was all time spectacular. You didn't get white Republicans crossing party lines. Like white Republicans voted the way white exactly. Republicans voted. You this got was black big. Republicans and and Spanish Republicans probably crossing party lines. It was because it vote. was it was bigger than parties. Right. Right. But ultimately, it was fifty. It was sixty million everybody's versus fifty nine million white people. Well, to me, here's the breakdown. It made no difference to me. It was a, it was exactly what this country is. It just so happened to be more of the other side voted for Obama. That's what it was to me at the time. Yeah. At the time. But then I had to realize, what is it going to take for me to think differently? And, and I realized this. More, uh, all right, more white people voted for McCain than Obama. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How about all? No. I, according to this, Obama got 43% of the white vote, right? Yeah. This is how I'm reading this. Mm -hmm. McCain got 55% of the white vote. Okay. And then who was left? Uh, then uh, blacks, 95% of uh, blacks voting went with Obama. All right. And about 4% um, for McCain. Okay. Latino, 67% uh, went Obama. Okay. 31% went McCain. Okay. Asian, 62% uh, Obama. 35% mm -hmm. McCain. And then the other was thirty one, thirty one. And by the way, that what was the other? They're just, just saying other. other. Yeah, that's uh, dude, breaking it's, down. Just it's, it was everybody. It else, was white. White people yeah. voted for McCain, yeah. and everybody else, and some white. Which is what I'm saying is the historical nature of this country, which is there'll be a few white people who do that side. Let's say that if, if let's say if all black people, everybody who all the minorities left this country. It would, and the 10 million or whatever so white people that voted for Obama stayed here, it would be like how to, how they treat, Iraq, how they treat the people in Iraq, the Sunnis, like they would be ostracized because it's going against the country. But no, it's not as much as it, it, white people, you have to like, because you, you're like, how could I look at things differently? He, he, white people elected him as their president. White people, I, I know all the black vote, and all the Spanish vote. But he got a lot of white people. That he didn't has, sneak in with 10% white vote. He got a massive amount of white people. That has been the history of the country, is that the same percentage of people who would vote. And again, but Patrice, you also got to understand mm -hmm. that the white vote is 74% of uh, total voters. Okay. Yeah. 
So you have to look There's at things. A lot of like, you don't like looking at things it's differently. But, but this wasn't just a fluke that he got in. This is why no, people looked at this guy it's a fluke. and said, we want him to be our president. I'm this not is the saying it's the fluke, but see, that's the part of it I disagree. But I mean, going with uh, Patrice's logic, even though the white uh, vote was 74% of the total vote, like Obama really need the blacks, the sure. Latinos, the Asians, and the others Democrats to, always to come do. out and yeah to That's, come out and vote. Yeah, my, my, I'm not. It's really always that way. Republican Democrat don't forget. Right, right. always that way. Here's, Absolutely. Here's my issue: is not, you know, the. It's like this is my thing. What I start thinking deeply about is look, payback, and the payback is this: people people gonna want something out of this. And what, what white people going to want out of this is the end of racism, the end of black people talking about slavery and talking about race and talking about uh, it, having you look at where you've come. And and that's the thing that this country doesn't understand, uh, even with Jeremiah Wright, why black people weren't upset with him is because we understand what that is. We live here. We we make it, we do this and we do that, but we do it despite this country. And it's not you and it's not you, but you think you're of, of yourself as a white guy, Opie. You think of yourself as yeah. a white guy, Norton. But you might, your family may have never had anything to do with slavery ever. But the fact is what this country has set up, meaning you're going to feel white. Your color oppresses my color. And wait a minute, black people have never, ever have found a way to forgive this country it is that's the that's the problem and that's what's going to change this country is when black people are able to forgive the united but, states but you can't there's no that, place to forgive you but you can't look at something like white people only voted for him because they wanted to be the end of black complaining i mean to put it in a nutshell with some, how would i ever know maybe some white people um but uh, you're, you're not saying that any people were like yeah i like this guy symbolically i like what it is but i also think it's like you don't realize that white people we're not uh, in you just, I'm not even just me and Opie white guys, but other white guys. We're not just a bunch of hayseeds running around going, "Well, we voted one in, everything's all right." No, right. It's, no. It's see, like, that's not, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not. I'm not marginalizing people's minds like that. Like people will look at this and go, "It's a step in the right." It's a positive. Do you think thing. there there are men who work with women, right? As dudes, women, men who work every day in an office with a woman, right? Mm -hmm. And he just wants to squeeze her boob, yeah. or grab her boob, and the only thing stopping him really is HR can't do it. HR. HR. Yeah. Before <laughs> HR, you got away with that. Stuff. He, a little, that's a little pinch line. Thank you. That okay. And that's why the women in the office uh, place they now dress, dress sexier because they know no one's going to touch. No one's going to touch. They're them. not buttoning up anymore. Nope. Buttoning up anymore because they got someone protecting them. And that and cleavage is all flowing in the uh, workplace. A lot of white people. I'm not saying all or anything. I'm saying a lot of white people. Racism. Being a racist is the worst thing. The very worst thing that you can be accused of as a white person now. And so bad that, you know what, even if I'm racist, I might vote for Obama just so I can make sure that if something comes down and I'm accused of being racist, that you can't call me that because I voted for Obama. Ultimately, dude, you got to understand, Norton, the relationship between black and white people in this country is based on your superiority mentally and over over black people and that has never changed see when the jews was free from bondage if you if the jew the jew story is biblical mm -hmm. if you watch the damn ten commandments at the end of the day the pharaoh really wanted to kill him he came down he wanted to say you know what i freed him but i'm gonna go murder him right. rode down there with his chariots the red sea opened up washed him all the way he went back home and was like hey look and his wife was like did you kill him he's like look his god is god the God freed the Jews. <laughs> uh, God, the, the how we live our lives is based on how the Jews were free. Basically, the Ten Commandments. Most of us, that's the the mantra of how we live our lives. It was a special story. They're the chosen people. They're the it's it's closure. There's a villain, which is the Pharaoh and Egypt. There's a beginning, a middle. There's an end. It's over. They don't have to continue to hate vagueness. How we were freed. It was paperwork. If you read the Emancipation Proclamation, which is the, is is the is the is the is the, uh, the document that freed the slaves, 
It's nothing but l- making black people go to war. And in the third paragraph is like, hey, go to go report to something. Yeah, but and, and that war. I get it. We've talked about it many, many times. So how do we solve this? Because I'll tell you, this there's much. no way for white people to solve it. That's, uh, that's, what, a, that's uh, what a uh, hold on. statement right there. No, but I'll tell you something because like uh, the average white person doesn't think of the slavery thing like you guys do. Of and, course you and, don't. And I know. And and as a white person, I can tell you, I just worry about my own struggles. I can give a crap but here's about why it's easy your struggles for you to or anybody else. Because I had it tough growing up. I My struggles were against the system. It wasn't a color. And as I continue to be uh, very successful in my life, I have a lot of people in my family that are still struggling. And that's what I focus my attentions on. If I, if I, I can give a crap about the slave thing. Of course. Thing. If I punch you in your face every day. Right. I, I, and then I just stop. But that's why I don't but know if, how if, this ever works itself here, I'm gonna out. I'm going to tell you how it works itself out. Because we got our own struggles. I can't be bothered with it's worrying about... It's easy for you... Letting that, making that slave thing completely go away. It's, me, it's easy for your skin color to it's, move on. It's, but it's not it's easy. It's easy I got, for you... I, I got brothers that are still struggling because of the system, not because of slavery or anything. You're talking crap. about personal experience. Well, that's what we all look but at. But this is not. This is bigger than personal experience. Well, you're not going to get Whitey's help on that. What, so exactly. How do, so how do we is, figure this out? This is why, uh, ultimately, we, you're not. This is what I'm saying. White people's idea that they're going to figure this out is the ultimate arrogance of it, is that I'm doing my part to help. The only way no, I, we don't even think that the way. only way that black people are going to really move on is to find closure for ourselves. Right. Because we're not going to get it from white right. people. So, again, how do we how do we get to that point? Who, how do I, you get I that don't point? know how. See, I got my thing is I got, again, personal experience. You're my friend. You know, you're my friend. It's like, but I don't I dislike white people, but I don't see you as a white dude. You're Norton. But I'm talking about what this country does and what your skin color is in this country and the thing and I don't I don't I can't nobody black is gonna relate to hey man you know the system it's like yeah what taxes or something else or something I'm talking about oppression I'm talking about a country I who that, did but... something to a people who never ever said that this is wrong. Now, I live with the legacy of the skin, and you live with the legacy of the skin, and it's still that way. We have never mentally, it, it, for the color, never mentally been moved on. But this country, country has hasn't moved wrong, on. The country has said yeah, it was wrong. More than, symbolic, more than symbolically, the way things have changed in the last X amount of years. I'm not saying that that erases anything. What, we get but stuff? Black presidents? Yeah, but it's not that, on, man. man. It's That's... not that. It's, it's the way people look at things. It's the interactions people have. You can't write it off as just, like, you painted it like all of a sudden, like, all white people still think the same way. No. And uh, nothing has changed. No. And, and, uh, or, what and, has no, changed? Been, no, what changed? At, like, everything, uh, perceptions, the way people interact, people's desire just to live with each other and not have any of this crap that was going on for, for all these years. That has changed a lot, and it hasn't been force-fed. You can't just say that everybody who is pro-Obama or who is pro-all this stuff are being force-fed uh, and reluctant uh, or looking at black people in a negative way. It's just not true. Let me ask you this. If do you agree it's getting better? Do I agree it's getting better? Yeah. I don't know. I I'll mean, tell you why. We were... I- we were, we did a show on Friday. We're moving on from that, but we learned that like in your lifetime, you're in your early 40s or so, or getting there, right? So you went from blacks went from not voting to having the first black president. Do you in your understand? Lifetime. I'm just asking. But I'm saying, like, do you understand? Just, the slave thing's not even the, on my radar. The, but do you when understand? I, wake up. That I got I got my own issues. The uh, we understand and things that, I worry that, about for that me and everybody my have their own personal issues, right? And black don't. And, and here's the thing that that is like that. Black people haven't moved on. We haven't moved on. We have moved on. It's the fact is that to really end it, we need closure, closure mentally. Because this summer, the Congress did apologize formally well, you for sh- slavery. But you said it, it doesn't mean anything. Do you understand? Is it a start is no, it's not a start. No, because a white guy who, a bunch of white guys who decide this was bad, it it goes. This is what I'm saying that you can do nothing about it because we have to go back in time to where the wrongness happened. To where, like it, it the wrong. See, you don't. You, it, ultimately, dude, there's a feeling that 
black people have. That's not going to be changed by apologies or money or anything. It's a forgiveness that we don't have for the country that white people can say, hey, man, I, I got my problems. We know because that's human problems, issues. Your mama's sick. Your feet hurt. We understand. I'm talking about as a people that this country has done nothing but wrong. And the people, I think in 1950, if there was a black candidate, he might have still won. If in 1950, the Klan wasn't allowed to just beat somebody's ass at the voting booth. I think there have been enough people to vote a black president in then. I don't think, my thing is, the inside, the, how people feel, I don't care about the trinkets of just, here you go, here you go, here's a president, here's this. Doesn't that see the change? Look how far you've come. What? But it's not just that. It's not just that. That's the point I'm making. That If that was the way everybody thought, you'd be right. But everybody is not looking at it like, here you are, child, take this. I under you don't want white I'm, paternalism. I'm hold on, hold on. You don't want white paternalism. And fair enough. Nobody would want that. It's insulting. But that's not the way it is for all people. And that's what I'm saying. You can't look at it like everyone is just looking at it like, well, here's your little gift. Slavery's over, pat on the head, take care, God yeah. speed. That's not the way all people are looking at it. We're not again, I'm gonna say this one more time. It's not all people. We look this is what I'm saying, dude. The arrogance that white people put themselves, anytime the word white is said, that you would put yourself in a category not, to understand. See how you understand the white point of view, Norton? Sure, that, yes. that, hey, this is not what we all, this is, it, you got to understand there's a new kind of racism, man. It's lying. This is why I appreciate Anthony. You can't accept, but you can't say white and expect other white people to not react any more than if some people say black, you're going to react. It's just, it's, you, you can't paint it like, where black people can react one way to the whole country and, and it can all feel the same thing because right. of their skin color, and yet you can criticize white people. And all, what, of course, white people are going to get react. But the, the color that we're talking about is the same color that messes with your family. When you say you have your problems and you're worried about your family and things, that's the white that black people are talking about. That's why black people are closer to having this racial thing and than white people because we live. We live in a country, Norton, okay, where really we've never felt like anything's changed. Even though, okay, you're allowed to do this is almost, it's insulting. But it's, right. it's a generational thing. It's like we're living it, and I said this to Anthony too, in hindsight, this is going to be a blip on the radar. Like, oh yeah, that's when things were all of a sudden different. But in a real generational life, like we're living it real time. So it's not going to be finished in our lifetimes. But we're living it real time. It is happening relatively quickly. When you look where something happened, if you're living in the 40-year period, you're like, who cares? <laughs> now I'm allowed to do this. Where's the internal Where's the internal change of all this? The internal. The, I'm not sure what you the, mean. the difference in your life. The difference that makes you go, damn, this, is, this was foul. And move on. See, it's easy to move on when you're white. It's not easy to move on when you feel the same way in this country. And now the covertness of it is hard to, you can't prove it. Before, all we did, all we could do was be re relate to lynching, dogs, hoses, and, 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 and George Wallace. Now it's who, me? I don't know. So basically what we have left, like I said, Jews had Hitler and his mustache and his friends. We have the white. Color. I know. We you have got a color. I white. That. Well, that's it. All right. Well, come up with a solution then. There's, there's the the one. That's that's what forgive. I asked you today. It's well, generational. It's not going to happen now. It's a slow. Again, 500 years from now, people look back. They go, oh yeah, you know, in, in 2000, they'll probably just call 2000. Uh, all of a sudden, well, 2000, they got a black president, and all, it, it, things will be different because you have a 50 or 100 year span to look at it. In real time, when you're living something, right. it seems like it's slow and nothing is two happening. What is it? Longer than 2000. That's a pretty good point, Jimmy's making, by the way. Longer when, than, when longer than 2000 years was Moses because uh, Jesus was 2000 years ago. Yeah. Before that was the Moses was was the Old Testament. It, it, uh, we got a break. We got a break. Yeah, we'll yeah. go to break. Yeah, we'll, we'll continue. The phones are lit. Uh, yes. You got them reacting today, Patrice. So.
we'll continue with this discussion <laughs> just a bit. 877-212-ONA. You're not going to get in now, but maybe a little later yep. if you want to add to this. Opie and Anthony. Today, we got the black version of Anthony in studio today. <laughs> <laughs> Holy ass. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta acknowledge that. <laughs> wow. I, for one, I'm I'm very excited Obama's the president. Just because I think he's the right man for the job. All right. Simple as that. And uh, we've discussed the black-white thing, and I'm, I'm sitting here really thinking about it. And I, I don't know what you could say to make me understand, because I just didn't... You I, can't. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't live this. I don't know anybody that... Let, I, me, ask, let me ask this to the ladies. Yeah. If, if there was a woman president, right... If there was a woman president, and uh, all women would just be proud to see that. As a woman, there's no way you couldn't be proud. Now, as a dude, you know, I dismiss women. Ah, hey, shut up. But let's say you ask a woman, what's this mean to you? And we, where have you come now? A woman will go, this is a start. This is this is definitely a start in the right direction, but there's a lot of things. Kind of like then, Jackie Robinson was Jackie a start. Jackie Robinson. And right. then I say to a woman, I go, what? A start? It's done. Shut up. Abortion? I don't want to hear about it no you more. You think the black president, it, a lot of white people are going to look at it like, all right, even Steven. Now what? Yeah. Where else? What else can you people complain All about? Right. If if they do, so what? What else? But so what if they do that? <laughs> what? Who That's cares? what I mean. Ultimately, Who cares? I don't like. Ultimately, your, I don't like your wife. No kidding, okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> I bend over backwards. Do you, do you really think uh, Whitey has it uh, easy in this country? I, I know Obie, you. I you know don't you, understand what I'm saying because you're saying that to me. But I know. Yeah, exactly. Because I know you think Whitey has it a lot easier. I know that. Being white probably makes it easier in this country. I'm not stupid, but it's still effing hard for us too. Okay, but at least you're not me. Uh, that's why I don't. I'll never you understand don't understand this because I know the struggles that that I. I'll say it again that I have. My family has. I got. I got people in my family working two jobs trying to pay bills. That's all they care let's about. Let's go back to They don't give a crap what you or your people, your people, sorry let's to say go, like that, have been through. Let's we go have back, our own problems. Let's go back to where white people in this country were different from each other. What was that about, Stone Brain, 1901? Yeah. When there was WAPs, mix, this, that, third, that, sure, blah, sure, blah. Sure, sure, sure. Ultimately, you would have understood then. But I'm you not living understand. then. But, but see, this is what I'm, I'm saying. I'm now. I'm, because in, the, I'm, I'm in the here and now. But because you're not in the here and now. See, this is the thing. White people erase historical value from this country, and it's about moving on. Nobody says it's, to a Jew, it's not the it. Holocaust... But Patrice, get not, over it! But I'm I'm really trying to simplify this. It's not about it's not it's on. not it's, it, it's, it's, it's our event. it's it's our day to day struggle for uh, and I mean for me and my family and close friends. That's what I yes. care. That's my world. Because I can't be bothered and worry been, about what slavery has if, done to you. Are you Irish? You're Irish, right? I'm a mutt. I'm, seriously, I'm I'm everything. Let's say if your I'm, if I'm, your blood was Irish, if you was purebred Irish, and it didn't go into the direction of color where Irish people kind of feel superior, Polish people feel superior, based on the color. The, historically, man, the color is the issue. Obama is not a black dude. He ain't a black dude. He's black by his skin color. Do you understand what this country is? It's based on color, and it's not going to change. As a white guy, you deal with things Right. That people deal with. What do you mean he's not a black you, dude? Though? I'm not sure what you mean. He's not. Well, he's not like Flavor Flav. Dude, he, let me. Oh, I tell you what. I watched DL Hewley's show. Oh, I'm being. He's not like a fl that's Flavor like Flav. That he's like. That, that's like saying John Kerry's not white because he's not. He's not. Uh, you know like what I'm so, saying? Like no, no, no. Like it's not cool the same. I'm gonna tell you why. Right? I'll tell you something. Black Africans, right? I, that's why I watched DL Hewley's show um, on CNN, and uh, he interviewed these Africans from Kenya. And Africans, you, you should have seen this interview. They, I got so mad because they took credit. See, Africa does not associate themselves with black America. They go, he is, he is the first generation Kenyan. What are you, D.L. Hoogley? What do not even pronounce the name? Af Africans make me sick. D.L. Hoogley. I didn't even know this was going on. Yeah, no. exactly, because you're white. That's fine. And you don't need to know. Thank How you. would we I know? I don't need to know. Africans don't tell us anything. That's How do we know? <laughs> so, How many Mr. Africans do I know? Mr. Hoogley, Mr. Hoogley, you are here 70 generations, and look at what you did. Nothing. And look at, wait, we import. <laughs> don't we, tell me no, the way. We, we export. We export. <laughs> 
residents to your country. Africans embrace this as him. He's not meaning this. Uh, Jesse Jackson's son would be the black president. Now, Obama is the black president because of skin, oh. not because of 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 history, historic value. And wow, this dude is black. And I don't mean he's he's black like he don't have rhythm or something. The dude is half white, half African. He's seen, but he's seen. Again, it's all perception. He lives as a black male. Thank you. He's seen That's as a I'm black saying. male. We're saying the same no, thing. I, I, I know. But I'm saying is, you, you're looking at the internal stuff, but he is seen as, as a black man in this country's eyes. And this country said he's a black. They're not looking at it like Jesse Jackson's son. Right. Well, he's blacker or more black American. He's half can. We, the, the country looked at a black guy with the name Barack Obama and said, we like Don't this guy. The part. Who's, but you know what I mean? It was like, we like this guy. We want him to be our president. And I, I know that sounds cheesy. I'm not saying it erases everything, but it is what it is. It and is what not, it is. Not but all... that's what my problem is. I guess I'm being utopian about it. Is the is what it is to me is very scary because ultimately the only thing that can keep slavery from happening again. I, I was talking to my mother like, hey, ma, what if. What if uh, they just the country just decided to go? Hey, look, we don't have enough money. We need free labor. Sorry, uh, black folks. We we got to reinstitute slavery. Now, ultimately, hypothetically, that's so that's ridiculous. Of course it is. But why is it based on what is that ridiculous? Other than, oops, uh, it's not going to happen. But if they needed free labor to build this country up again in terms of for his money and they said black people we have to reinstitute slavery ridiculous what would happen what it's are, ridiculous yeah, based we, on the idea what, what that gonna, it's ridiculous what no, are we going to do with all the Mexicans then but, <laughs> exactly <laughs> sorry that's what sorry, I mean. Mexicans. We I'll, have to. Do, we I'll, have I'll, to. I'll we have to ridiculous. joke that. I'll tell you why it's ridiculous. We have to. No, you know. I'll tell you why it's ridiculous. Because the world's a different place. Information is. Is that why it's ridiculous? Because the world. You meaning, think the world meaning different? slavery? Let's be honest. Okay. When it happened, was happening all over the world. It was happening. It was accepted all over the world. It does happen maybe in Sudan in certain places. It's not an acceptable practice in the world now. Now, the word you said is acceptable, Jim. See, yes. this is what I mean. This is my thing. Well, everything is, and this is acceptable or unacceptable. It's acceptable behavior. You could beat your kids. When I was growing up, you, your parents could beat the dog doo-doo out of their kids. That was acceptable. Why did they stop? Some parents still want to beat the dog doo-doo, throw their kids through a window. And they stop because beating your kids is done socially. But my thing is... I would love it to feel done. I, I I would I don't want somebody to think that by the graces of like I'm lucky you by the graces of not God or the graces of not anything bigger than uh, a group feeling like they're giving other things to another group. Do I want that? That's change? always the way it will be numerically. Then you can't you put you're putting it into a no win situation because the bottom line is unless there are an even number of people in a country, if you want to look at it like that, that means any time in any country that the smaller group is not enslaved by the larger group, that it's simply a bunch of bull crap and they're being polite. It doesn't make sense that way. That's, right. that's not the reality. That doesn't say that the world is a different place. Like, I know women are happy that guys don't run around like caveman days and just hit them on top of the head and drag them with their hair. But I think... I like, think that like, could come back someday? Dude, his, this is my, my analogy that... Because my girl called me a black supremacist like when we was watching. She was like, you're, you're just the same as the rest of them. <laughs> She's like, you're talking a, to her at the wedding. Black <laughs> you're a black supremacist. <laughs> But I felt it took but you know, her understanding as a woman to get it. It's like this. If you come in the house, right, and you beat your wife, right. punch her in the face every day. Yeah. And she stands there, right, and you just that's the part of life. You can beat her ass and nothing she can say. One day you come in and you don't punch her. She don't say nothing. She's just not getting punched. She's like, whew. Then a month goes by, you just stop punching her. Then one day you come in with flowers. You give her flowers. And then she goes, you have a moment. You go, um, why did you... She goes, why did you stop punching me? And you go, eh, you know, a lot of my friends was getting arrested for punching their wives, so I didn't want to get arrested. I just didn't punch you in your face no more. And and she goes, what? Wait a minute. The only reason you stop punching me is because you might get in trouble for doing it. And ultimately, I know you're not getting punched, but the idea that someone's not 
the, the, there's, it's not a heartfelt thing. And but then, that's how most people stop doing That's stuff. the original stop. That's right. the original stop. And then 20 years later, if husbands all over are still not <laughs> punching their wives, right. the wives can't go, you're only not hitting me so you don't go to jail because it goes beyond that where it's like all husbands but you know what? you're not supposed at, to do that. At, di here's the point. It's still at the mercy of of social acceptance. Numerically, it will always be that then. Then you're putting it into a situation where, you, where no one can win because that's a numerical game. And that's why I'm saying white people have no way to help. It's only, and I don't know the answer because I want to forgive. And what I mean by forgive is when a white dude says, hey, man, you know, hey, you're, you're really articulate or you, 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 you're smart. I want to go thanks, Where's dude. It? But in me, I go, Ugh. Where, will you validate my intelligence, Cracker? I'm better than like you. You didn't think that there was a. You didn't think Obama was going to win. You thought he had no shot. No and shot. And then all of a sudden, you until start, I start reading, and then you start. Okay, I and remember then, the call. You're like, I think this guy has a real shot because of the electoral vote. Now I'm very happy. I'm very happy he won the popular. Yes. Because if he didn't win the popular and he won the electorate, like I said, white people, when when the answers. You think you got the answers? We'll change the questions. They would have changed the electoral that vote. That didn't happen. What happened was he got the majority. He got a good majority Thank of the vote. Thank God. But he did. And he got the electoral. It was a completely legitimate. It was a fairly, I mean, it was a pretty overwhelming compared to where the elections have gone. McCain even said in his concession, he said, and the country has spoken. They've spoken clearly. I mean, it was, it was a beating. That is what. See, how I felt at McCain, watching McCain's acceptance speech. He was great. I mean, concession speech. McCain was great with that. How I felt was what is what it'll take for me to forget is like to see somebody that a white guy old white man just something about him just felt like he he wanted to go i'm sorry i'm sorry he it looked like he wanted to go look man i knew he was better going in i would have voted for him if i didn't have to go through this nonsense of being mr old white man this guy is better and you know it, and I know it. That's, but that's typical politics. Like that's typical that wasn't a typical political yes, speech. No, no, no. But the bully, eh, they always do that. Oh, yeah. They don't bully. always boo. Wait, 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 you loser? mentioned the opponent in the concession speech. What? No, they always always that, every concession speech. It's always the guy like you know every like, one. Yeah, my opponent ran a better campaign. Boo! Go okay. back in history. That, me, everyone, dude. You every know. every me, time we elect you, a new president, fellas, that, I'm going to go that, with you guys on this. This is what I'm saying to bring it to what I'm what I want to feel. I don't want to feel like they booed the black guy. Racially. They didn't boo the black guy. But do they you didn't understand? They, booed, they were booing that. They, 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 they were booing that. Their feelings. They were booing that their guy they worked so hard for is not going to be the president. I don't feeling, and look, they believe in him and his That's what you say. That's I'm telling you. All right, that's they what do it every that's election. That's what you say. You every really, election. Your paranoia. I, I don't what, understand that. I, 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 it's paranoia. You think this is paranoia? Fair enough. Hold on. And that bully is. Here's the saying. Wait, here's the saying. That bully just because is. I'm paranoid don't mean somebody ain't trying to kill me. You're right, but that bully is. Let me tell you something. You're paranoia, and, and I don't understand because I don't live your life. I so don't see it that way. Don't see it that way. But do you, you understand? Do. You see I'm it that way, and my... I don't, and I see it right. differently. That's why I, mean... I want to see it differently. That's my to whole me, thing. To me, it was so obvious they were booing because their man did not. When they the booed McCain they when Obama mentioned him, you they do that. You white, white. Th uh, this country. Let me stop saying white. No, no, forget what this black and white. This country dismisses every, black people's feeling every, as paranoia. When they, but just because white right, people you know dismiss what? black people's pe uh, feelings of paranoia, Find out it if doesn't it's mean black that they never think are. The same you know, thing I do. It doesn't mean Wait, that they never are. They boo every concession right. speech. Right. Let me Everyone, hold on, hold they on. Let me jump in. Guy. Let me jump in. They boo the other guy. You're 100 percent right by me saying you're paranoid by th by uh, saying that you're 100 percent right. I said it the wrong way, but I'm just saying like I saw it one way, you saw it another way. To, to, but to not see to, that to, booing, to, it, to say that you're paranoid, paranoid over that, I, you know what? Maybe that is going a little. Can we far. can we go can we go to the OJ verdict? What did no, you? What, dude, no, 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 real quick. One, what did you feel, Norton? What did you feel? Black, was going on with black people uh, when that verdict was read and they, we was running. I thought we, they were insane. Originally, I was, it was 1994. You're talking 14 years ago. I personally have gotten more knowledge and understand things a little better. But in 94, I'm like, they're going, they're, they're, they're cheering them. I did not understand and on why any level where that was coming from. we all did it at the same in, in time? The, it was like, well, now no, we got a cell phone call the moment, cheer right in now. In the moment you look at it, you're asking what I thought about it. In the moment you look at it, like, I was actually shocked how naive I was. I was shocked that he was acquitted. But when you, 
when you look at it like, yeah. all right, black people are all cheering for this. Too. Y internally, you know, that, that there's not a bunch of people cheering that a lady got her throat cut. It's like, eh, that didn't make any kind of sense because the reaction was too immediate and it was too 100% and 100% this way. Um, and then you realize, like, you know, as, as you get over the shock of the acquittal, because it was, it really was a, a, a case where the guy was obviously guilty. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, well, they're cheering. I figured they were cheering for Cochran more than anything. And the fact that uh, a, a guy like Cochran outslicked, like, like, almost like this is what it feels like. Like, do you get it now? This is what it feels like for it to be so obvious and still go wrong. Wait, you really th thought they were cheering for Cochran back then? Uh, not in the moment I didn't. When it was first happening, it was an anger. Or it was a shock, because I really was shocked that he was acquitted. Again, we've never had a trial that we all watched right. day to day like this. Right. This, you know, no one's ever seen a murder trial unfold so completely on television like a soap opera. So we all kind of knew what happened. And then for it to go the other way, I wasn't thinking like what, what racially. And, and then as time went on, I was like, that, that's you know what, what it was. I was and, and so no, confused. You're 100% right. You're 100% right. I was so confused by that. I was like, what? It, it made me try to get more knowledge because okay. i was like i didn't understand it in the slightest why they were cheering did not understand what, what, what you guys you now education makes you able to think and be logical sometimes reading doesn't help you be logical i don't like people who read like some people think because they read something and they recite what they read back to you that that makes them wonderfully intelligent right i, I like people who think so you got your in intelligence, and then you went and thought about it. I, I tried, yeah, because obviously what was going on that I was naive to, that uh, the the black man was uh -huh. being screwed over in the judicial system. I had how no can idea. white people not? I had this no is idea. How, this is how. In 94, I had no effing idea that was going I don't on. Like this is how wonderfully lucky this country is. Because guess what? I read a bunch of articles after that. I went, wow, all right, this is where this is coming from. I, I'm not sure if I, like, agreed. But I'm like, okay, at least I have more knowledge on why the reaction was such. Can you believe, like, Anthony, I heard him talk about, the, uh, uh, he the president now, nah, right? I heard that one. And I'm like... We laughed at him for that It's one. hilarious. Because I, I, I mean, Jimmy and I live in New York. I, I have to say it again, you know, some of the hardcores will kill me on this one, but... I am not seeing what Anthony is. Why seeing. would any white person... I'm just not seeing it. ...understanding the history, which means a lot of white people don't need to know the history of this country. Don't need to know. So why would any white person who didn't know any history not have a... You have to read books and learn about the history of this country to say, you know what? Damn, all they're doing is saying Obama now for what this country did? That's all they're doing? They can't have that one. I don't, dude. I don't want to get white away. people. Your record is a million and oh. But I don't want to get away from the fact that you were talking about the booing, because yeah, that, as much as what you're saying, a lot of what you're saying is very correct, and I know it's correct. But that is like when you're looking at something that way, and you're going into that extreme of it, you are looking at it wrong. And exactly. But I'm admitting it, Norton. I want to be able to. I want to be. See, there's been enough black mayors who've done some really ridiculous things. Uh, 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 Kwame, uh, the one in Newark, Sharp James, Sharp James uh, 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 Marion Barry smoking crack. There's been some black mayors who've done enough things to where if a white mayor's running against a black guy, I go, eh, hey, it's a, I'm, it's just has to be enough black people doing enough things for me to give back people, white people, the benefit of the doubt. Well, and it's hard to do. Well, that's what I was saying the other day. We were talking about this. And the bottom line is presidential elections are once every four years. It's going to be a historical view. It's not going to happen in any lifetime. Yeah, Say that's... 200 years from now, when they look at a 100-year block of time, we have 25 more elections after this Obama election. Uh, let's just say of the 25 elected presidents, six are black, 19 are white. Well, let's be Well, five, okay, five and 20, however you want to look at it. What, they five out of 20 will be black presidents? Let's, let's say over the next 100 no. years. Hell no. Here's what, here's what 100 years is going to be. One of these things is no, not no, no. like the other. In 100 years, you're, you're, you're wrong. There's going to be, you a Jewish, be of course there will be. be five a out Jewish 20? president? In 100 years, the way the, the, the global economy is all becoming one. This, and, this, yes. this world hating Jews. They hate Jews. For ten thousand years, I understand that. But look where look at look at the, the high level like, guys like Bloomberg and guys like uh, uh, Lieberman. I, I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. And once it happens once, like you said, it's not as big a deal anymore. In a hundred years, will they look back and say that there were f four or five black presidents in a hundred year period from this point? No, absolutely. 
Yeah. Absolutely. You think the next there'll be five presidents in a hundred five black presidents in a hundred years? Uh, out of twenty five elections. Are you out your mind, Norton? Why not? Why not? Patrice? It's not going to happen. I, 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 why not? If Obama is is a, a, does, is is a, a good president. And it just becomes, would you have thought that way there was going to be X amount of black mayors or X amount of, uh, like you said, the first one, X amount of black players or X amount of black anything. Once it happens once, like you said, the first one is symbolic. Yeah, then, uh, then it just becomes something that is a part of the country. All right, fair enough. I uh, wish I could be a vampire to know. I really wish. You know, I that's know. not even being that positive. Saying five elections or you want to go four out of the next hundred years. I think the possibility is right it's there, It's not man. a crazy. It's not a crazy thought, Patrice. At all. Dude. This is this is again. I'm gonna say to you guys. I really. This is this is why I I exhume you from responsibility. I really want to feel that way. I can think that way, and I can agree with logic. But we're talking. We're, I'm in the middle of being a reasonable, logical person, and feeling how I feel. All right. So and I'm telling so you how says, says, you feel. He says five presidents in the next hundred years will be black. How many do you think? None. No, we're going to go 100 years I'm without another black president? I'm going to tell you why, because here's my theory on what the racial problem is going to be. This is what my problem is with this. One, I'm telling you, there's an internal healing that has to happen. There has to be some in, internal stoppage to this. External th things, it doesn't. See, here's the thing. I don't think, like, sports is different. Sports, you go, hey, man, that N-word can run fast, and we need somebody who can run fast on a team. Hey, man, this, that, and the third. But in terms of, okay, this black man is the best to run this country right now, that would have to say that internally that this country will change in 100 years. I don't, are, I don't think it to be so. You also didn't think Obama was going to win. No, and then, not until and then, the and, day before. And now that he right. has won, you're still finding reasons as to why it's like... Do you do you feel what do you understand? I have to stop you. Every time there's a there's an arrogant white statement, and I'm not let me let me finish this. Without maliciousness, that is an arrogant statement that I'm still finding reasons you are dismissing. No, I'm not. You're, you're jumping on the, the first part of the sentence I used, meaning you're still finding reasons as to why it's all negative and to. But, yeah, but you, really you, 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 that, you, you rigged the you game really in your own mind, that. Patrice. You rigged the game in your own mind. Well, at first, the guy's not going to win. He can't win. <laughs> right. And then he wins, and you, you have no change of thought whatsoever. It's almost like, okay, but at least you, you, that's not an arrogant statement. You know statement. what made me think he had a chance to win? Hmm. Is the last ditch effort. B Osama, I mean, uh, Osama, Barack Hussein, Hussein Obama, Obama running for president. Right. Black dude, father left his home, right. he smoked, did coke, all, the whole thing. The last ditch effort the day before, which made me, what made me believe is that white people or, or the Republicans thought he was going to win because his last ditch effort was his poor black auntie yeah. in Boston. I said, this dude. Is going to win. The Republicans. Because they all they got. They knew he was going to win. That. I think the Republicans all along were worried he was going to win. I think that's why they put a 72 year old guy instead of one of the young future of the Republican parties against him. I think they knew he was very. They didn't want to lower someone's stock. Yeah, like a guy like Mitt Romney, which I is somebody the, who's like more stock. I think politically that they, they realize it's time. There's, there's going to be a black president. McCain and that moron from Alaska, that's right. who they throw right. out there. Right. I think they knew that he was virtually unbeatable, and he would only damage any young, great Republican. But when you say he threw him out there, that means, but he had to be voted to be the representative of the Republicans. No, but I, I still think the Republicans understood uh, on some level that this guy and again, I don't think anybody said look he's unbeatable let's but I think everybody looked at Obama You think psychologically that some of this stuff's going on. I, I believe I so. think everybody looked at this guy and just saw what he was and saw this this JFK vibe He had to him and know this guy is going to be because he has no record Well, yeah, that hurts him because he's inexperienced, but it also hurts him because there's very little to attack like if you're going to run one of your young really hot Republicans give him four years and then at least you have a record you can go after there's no record. All you're going after now is Obama as this iconic figure, which he was before he... And I think they intuitively understood that. I really do. He All seemed right. like an unbeatable guy. Look, these phones are just... They're just chomping. And we we got to get a break. We yeah. just can't get to them, <laughs> which is... We'll try after the break. You all right? What? You all right? What'd you call me? 
I said, you're all right? Oh, I thought he called me in. Oh, my bad. No, shit. Are you crazy? It, it's only what everybody's thinking. <laughs> I'm not so with you. I'm still a comedian. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. I would never do it to your face. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what do you think? I'm stupid? I might buy, wow. be naive about black culture, but I know when to yeah. say it and when not to. I was ready to call him Patrice the mind reader. Opie and Anthony. For the record, I uh, invited Patrice to my wedding, so... I um, I, I should be arriving about three, three. I'm gonna give you your own table though. <laughs> I might give you a, a table with my uncle Tom. Oh Jesus! I really do have an uncle Tom, so. I'm getting a new tent, uh, just to drive into Philly that day. Nice. The other thing is, Opie and Anthony, by the way, Jim Norton. Discussion. Yeah. And so people don't understand how many how many black people and white people get along like in Las Vegas. Like there's a comedy festival, right? I happen to be doing a show. Jimmy, at... not now. But well, it's important. Wow. It's about race. <laughs> <laughs> Next Friday at seven o'clock, I'm doing the comedy festival, Caesar's Palace. It's not about that. Or my AC dates in January. You want to go see me in Atlantic City? Go ahead. But it's about racial healing, and that's what I'm trying to talk about. Not me. Oh my God, the phones are lit. So. I think Patrice is hoping for something that just obviously isn't going to happen in your lifetime. Not from white Because we were talking about it during the break. but uh, Nothing you can do. Just stay what you are, We've come folks. a long way. Remember I told you about Geraldo and, and what they would have? It, it would, it, oh, that's what I wanted to say and I forgot. Yeah. It, it, it's like we all realize that there's race and racial problems and racial issues in this country. But the only people who ever say and admit that they have racial feelings... It's black people. I can't find I agree. an intelligent white person who admits to being racist. I agree. So when I watch Geraldo, it would always be, remember back in the day Geraldo had his show, it would always be a frothing at the mouth cracker yep. versus uh, Dr. Leroy Smith, the, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the head of psychology at, so, at, and... at Negro University, discussing race <laughs> with a guy that goes, tie, you know what? You know why we're better than you? Because yep. you get sickle cell anemia. And we don't. Not just a smart white guy who who is who is like yeah a regular person who will go yeah black people. Uh, I agree with you. Yet you annoy me sometimes. Yeah, yeah I just admit right. a great. There's no gray area no. white person where it's like it's either you're a crazed l lunatic or I don't see color. I couldn't agree more. Yes. Rainbows. I couldn't agree more. It sickens me. Liars. That's what the problem is. Black people got over it quite well. We're getting over it despite everything. We're doing quite fine. Let me ask you something, Patrice. Uh, you got two Obama supporters in studio today. All right. Why do you think we uh, support Obama? I don't know. Tell me. No, no but he's asking, he's asking your opinion. Uh, why do I think you opinion? support Obama? Because you're rational and you're... And education. Because I I feel guilty. You're or right, no, no, I don't think you feel guilty. But you know why? Again, we're talking. It's just like the money we might make in this business. When you explain it to somebody who works hard, and if you complain and go, "Oh man, I made this much last week," and you complain, the average square is going to go, "I'll kill you if you complain about that kind of money." But it's the same thing with what we do. We're honest for a living, Opie. You, where we we have we attach ourselves mentally to our feelings. A lot of people don't have the ability to attach rationale and reason to their feelings, and that's what makes them what they are. I'm trying to be logical along with how I feel. That's how I'm able to function. If I was only emotional, there'd be problems, real problems, worse problems than I have now. So why I think you and Norton did is because you live, you, you try to live as honest as you can. And so for you to lie about how you might feel about Obama means you'll lie about anything and your whole stilo is not to lie. But look at what you do for a living every day for five hours. You're trying to be honest about things. So you're not setting yourself up to be a hypocrite and you're not political. That's why I think you two voted for him. And I'm not saying that every other white person voted for him for something different. But I'm saying when you're not... I didn't vote, by the way, just I didn't for the either. record. You didn't? No. no, I didn't. I didn't. No, but I didn't. you, you let it with. Why do you think we voted for him? We uh, he I, means I, I, supported, supported. supported him. Yeah, yeah. If you voted for him, <laughs> I think you yeah. might support him because of that. Because you're rational and 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 despite whatever you might have felt, 
you would uh, you could make a decision based on 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 being reasonable. And I don't think everybody has the ability now, to be reasonable. I think more do than you think, though. I, you're right. Not everybody doesn't, but I think more do than you think. But I do agree with that frothing at the mouth racist. And even as a white guy, it is hard to pull out of other white people other any racial feelings at all. And I know racial is the good word. See, every time you hear race with white people, they think it's racist. 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 Racial, but racial exists. Having racial yeah, fears is it okay. With it happens. But you have well, a lot of white who, who people who don't admit it. it. Not many people. You're right. I'm white people that. don't admit it. That's, no. And I see it on stage by their, oh, and it makes me nuts. Whenever you mention racial fear or racial discomfort, because everybody has moments mm -hmm. of it, they interpret it as I'm a racist if I admit that. And what you just said that. is what I'm talking about yeah, with this election is a bunch of people who can go, oh, oh, you don't, oh, we just got voting. Oh, we got to come up with a, a different word because racial is too close to racist, and that's yeah. my problem. <laughs> yeah, D dude, I'm, I'm, I'm but you voted for Obama because he's black. Uh, you pretty much admitted yeah, that on I the didn't show, either, but yeah, yeah. If I went on stage because I just want to see it. If you went on stage, Patrice, as a black comic in front of a white audience, you'll tell white people they annoy you, and they'll laugh. And if I went on and said, you know, black people annoy me sometimes, white people would be very uncomfortable. Black people would try to be much more. And here's why I set myself up to try to not be a hypocrite because I hate. I used to have arguments with with, with white comics all the time, and I used to go, look. I try to approach it without it being taken advantage of white guilt. Right. I try to make it real and try to make myself a villain sometimes. And you see me perform. Norton. I try to make myself a villain so that it, I'm not endearing so that when I say it, that white people can be upset. Rousing success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right on. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. By the way, for the record, because Anthony's not here, uh, when you ask him why... McCain, he would say because, you know, he believes in McCain's policies over Obama. Of course. I'll say, does. but yeah, but there's but one. I'm just saying. Ant is valid when he talks about. And, and he could back it up because he starts spewing some stuff. The NRA, he's a big NRA guy. And look, right. Obama's tax policy, it's like, yeah, it is a big thing, though. He wouldn't be this animalistic. Probably not, right. If it was a white guy that won. But he'd be closer to this animalistic I guarantee. Than you think. How long you guys been working together? Four, uh, 14. Uh, eight Four years for me. 14 years. Yeah, we started with the OJ uh, thing. Clinton was in office for six years. Mm -hmm. eight, eight, eight years. Eight. eight. And no, no, six years oh. at that time, meaning six more years Clinton was in office during that time. Was he ever out of his mind like he is now? And there's a Democratic no, president. we didn't really. He didn't make the money back then either. We, uh, we, yeah, we've, we've grown over the years. We didn't talk politics back in 94. But now his Democrat. growth is based on saying uppity N-words that we've, that he's goofy enough to think that black people, what? Here's the thing. In all fairness, don't you think we just give a, a black dude who doesn't know any better, give him that? In all fairness, yeah. like Ant's not here. He'll have a lot to say about this tomorrow. But what we need to do is get you both in studio at the same time to uh, really Bobby have at scale. it. No, that's Somebody. a good point, but though. Because it's not fair to, it's easy, you know. No, you're looking at an empty mic over there, so. That's well, what the hell? I've been listening to. I understand, but I. I, you, we got to give him this guy, the opportunity to defend what he's calling, saying. You know, the uppity N-word, she bumped into me, and how dare she? I, I, it's white entitlement, but you still won't say you racist, you liars. That's a good point about uh, if the guy is yelling, Obama's president. Like, that's just... It's he's such, goofy. It's such a he taunting, he, silly he, thing. Exactly. But you know what that is? Not defending that kid, but I'm going to say that the dude... He would have found any way. He would have been like, he would have said, Jesse Jackson bought new shoes. Yeah. It just is something yeah, that right. you can go, he's breaking ah, balls. white, he's busting your balls, right. the black president. Let me, uh, we're going to go yeah. to the phones because these guys have been holding some for, a while. for over an hour. And I, I'm going to do it this way, Patrice, because, uh, you know, I'm I'm a smart Radio show host, I could, I could like, you know, unleash. I no, oh, I could, was... I could just pick the call. Wait, how many? If I wanted to. Exactly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from top to bottom. Do you think? Whatever man. we get, we get. Okay. I got a stick. I'll poke you with. <laughs> back. <laughs> back. Shut up. Shut up. Down. Boy. Let's start with Dave in Illinois. Dave, what's up, buddy? Yeah, hey, how you doing, man? Hi, Dave. Um, Good. Patrice. Yeah, it is. You, you think that? I, I'm getting a vibe from you. That you uh, it, it's the same that. vibe I'm getting from your voice, by All the right. way. Give him a shot. I'm going to yeah. give him a shot, but no, you can. Oh, I already I, smell it. I'm not stacking the deck. We're going from top go to ahead. bottom. Do Let's go, thing. Dave. Do your yeah, thing. But, no, no, no. What I'm saying is, is that you believe that any white guy that voted for, voted for McCain and they were against Obama 
had it had some kind of racial undertone for doing so. You know what, Dave? Dave, 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 Dave let me ask you a question. Why Dave, is that? Dave, let me ask you a question. I said in this room, I don't want to feel that way. But I don't. I do not think that that was the case, and I really don't feel that was the case. But for the most part, I'm generalizing you, Dave. I am grouping you in with all That's of not you. Fair. Oh, is it not, Mr. White Man? Do you hear yourself? You know Do you hear white people? All right. Do you hear fairness? But that's I. I it's, it's not fair. Nine out. It's of, not easily nine out. Fair. But Patrice, easily nine out of ten guys would say exactly what Dave yeah. just said. Easily. Yeah. Because no, we don't. We don't. His name is Dave. He's not. We don't. Fair. He's not Uncle Sam. He's that. Dave. He's just a guy from Illinois. Nine, nine, nine out of Do ten would say that. Do you get what I'm saying? So, this how dare fairness so what be we, a part of white people's so, speech? So what's not fair as far as you're concerned, Patrice? Because when you say the same statement when it comes to stuff, here's the here's the what I mean about it's not fair. Mm -hmm. He's 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 saying that me, my generalizing of white people is not fair he's right but it's not fair it's, that's what I'm <laughs> but like here's the thing and i've always said this on the news and it's a game play it's, it's hilarious to me is that when they go oh three black men robbed a walmart and shot yeah, and they, raped everybody they and rarely then, say black man anymore, but yeah. but it, but when a they black guy does do something it. it is held over all of our heads even though even though it may not count against but the country makes it feel like all black we got to defend ourselves but when let's say let's say the green let's say Gary whatever is a Gil, whatever the Green River Killer you probably know his name Norton I forgot his name but I, I the do. Green River Killer in Seattle killed fifty hookers right. ultimately one guy killing fifty people of the same thing we should be looking at that person as oh boy it's more likely that this is or John Wayne Gacy if I'm a young white dude I should be looking at any chubby white guy and go he might choke me and put me in a cubby hole in his house. But so why don't one you? black dude. Why don't you? This is what I'm saying. It's Damn. all ma it's, one black dude does something. It's we all have to go to the defense. I'm tired of defending black criminals. I don't want to. But but it's ultimately it's it comes out to be a racial charge with white people. They can't just make it not racial. But don't forget. Wait, why should we not? Hold on. Give us a little serial killer example. Don't forget uh, John Muhammad. And the, and the other guy, the uh, the uh, the snipers. The snipers. Most people are not looking at black people like potential snipers. Not when at it comes, all. or not at all. Or uh, it's still not. You know why? Because that's not really. Timothy Spencer is another uh, uh, across. Uh, is a serial killer, black serial killer. He raped and killed white women. <laughs> what about that bad boy in Atlanta? Really, no, what I'm saying is serial killers are a weird one, man. Like I, when you look at someone who's doing such an anomaly, a guy that rapes and commits a murder is connectable to people, but a serial killer. How about mass office killers? Yeah, okay, I, I should example. I should be looking at most white dude. I should be looking at what you do mentally to uh, E Rock. I should always come in here and be like, oh boy, E Rock could snap today and shoot us all. Yeah. I could I could feel that way. That whole thing, by the way, is turning around. He's becoming one of ours. One of us, finally. <laughs> one of ours, please. One of us. I'm, I'm saying the anger. That, yeah. what, when he said it's hey. not fair, this is what I mean, the detachment, well, just the shows. arrogance of white people for him to say to me, because I grouped you in and generalized you, it ain't fair. But I don't Are think you that's, out your skull? I think the, you're, you're misinterpreting that as arrogance, man. I don't think he's being arrogant. I think he really is looking it's at It's not like, malicious. That's why well, I cut you off before when you said something, and you said, let me finish. I didn't get to the... It's because I, I, there's, is a, there's a maliciousness that I don't, one thing I'm going to say, not, not all white people are maliciously but all, racial. But that might not, but just because. It's a condition. But you can't just say that because he's not being malicious, he's still arrogant. He might not be arrogant. He might not be malicious or arrogant. Yeah, I agree You're not that. separating, you're not breaking it down enough. You're saying that whenever a white guy feels something isn't fair, according to race. Right. Or, or, or says, hey, that's not kind of cool. He's being arrogant. I wish I could look at white guys' plight and go, the plight of the white man. Not even a plight, though, but just a guy but going, hey, man, that's not fair that you what, think that way. Look at racially. The, the tipping of the scales racially is not based on black people's relationship with white people. It's based on white people's relationship with white people. It's a civil war between N-word lovers and racists. Like, it's, it's the right and the left, and, and white people are always discussing how we feel. That's what I'm saying. We, in this country, we're like dogs 
to this country. We don't we don't have our own feelings. We don't know how to feel. We don't know how to rationalize. We're just crazy. Uh, calm down, paranoid, crazy black man. Let us figure out your problems. That's what I'm saying. This co- it's not malicious. It's just what white people are arrogant. They don't want to hear it no more. That's all it is. I'm telling you, being from where I'm from, what I know is covert, non non aggressive racism. The racism you cannot prove. And that's what we're living with now. That's why I'm saying all of this is nonsense to me, because I, I don't feel anybody change. That's all I'm saying. All right, so where does the line go between racism you can't prove and covert racism, racism institutionalized racism, which I agree with you, it exists. I don't. Uh, it's it's, it's but, like but no, hold everybody on. feels Bill O'Reilly's a racist, but, no, 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 but can you prove it? But where does, where does that line end and the line where it's like, I, I, I'm black and I'm misreading this. Mm-hmm. Almost like there there is a line where you're black and you're misreading something. Okay, give me an example of you think that black people just misread something about how white people feel. That bullying right there was a great example of, of, of misreading the... If, if had, had I not seen that in every single concession okay. speech, I would have thought, my God, they're bullying this... Like that was- and that comes from education, and I wasn't... I- educated on on that issue, I took it as how I felt at the time, right. and watching McCain, and what I said, it had a lot to do with McCain, the way he said, the way he looked, it looked like he was like, don't do, why, don't do this, it looked, it didn't look phony like this is what he's supposed to do, it looked like a disappointed man in that reaction to the people that represent him, because it just wasn't right. I think when he saw them booing, he again, it was almost like, nah, don't do the typical thing now. Not don't boo the like that was the typical thing. Yes, to boo. Don't do, don't do that. Don't now. do what don't, we always do. I think he was not now. This is a bigger. I thing. think he was playing his role in that whole thing. I think he appreciated that people were booing. No, I, I don't. I, 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 because I think because McCain still believed all the way to the end that he was the better guy. I think he's his too gentle. Speech, when his when you got your supporters speech, going boo, I, I think him. you're up there going, oh, that's kind of cool. I, but I felt that guy on his concession speech. I did too. Dude. I felt that dude. And oh he, yeah, he after just felt like when he finally got to really say what he wanted to say, it was a, it was a great speech. I, I, I really got to go to the phones. These okay, guys are okay. killing okay. the talk. Let's uh, go to Eric in Cleveland. Eric, uh, first off, oh, I gotta tell you, I'm a black. I'm black. I didn't vote Yuck. for Obama. I felt that Obama was bad for the country. And I got to tell you, Patricia, I'm ashamed of you even being black with me, simply due to the fact that I, I'm listening to you and this garbage that you're spewing out. We're, we're Americans first. We're Americans first. And I understand that people have gone through a lot of hardship and a lot of agony to get to where we're up. But everybody has. Chinese, Irish, Italian, black. We all have gone through something. Our, our job is basically to get there and do what we're supposed to do. And, and, Can I tell you and, something? I'm going to tell you something right now. White people think right. you're hilarious. White people are like, who is this goofy guy? Your white wife and your white friends. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you. I will tell you this. You said you're ashamed that I'm black. I'm, you're ashamed of how I feel. You're ashamed of how I feel is what you're saying. What you're saying is you're ashamed. As a matter of fact, you you insulted me to get your point across. And I'm telling you, I'm sharing my feelings with you. And you haven't even shared a feeling. Do you feel like this country's racial? Do you feel like this country's racial? People, you're one of these black person? people. Let me tell you who you are. You're I a black person. You're racist. a black person who doesn't eat watermelon in front of white Wait, people. Patricia, That's who you are. Yeah, let him answer. That's a good question. Ma, first That's off, you, you are right. I don't like watermelon. Exactly. 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 You don't like nothing right. that so, makes you I think you that this. you're the I black way that white people black present people you. Are hypocritical. Hypocrite. Who's hypocrites? If Obama was a black Republican, uh-huh. he would have never got in. If that's an absolute lie. Colin Powell would have been the president. Matter of fact, when I heard, I'm going to tell you something. Colin Powell, Colin Powell sound more presidential supporting Obama than Obama did. <laughs> he like an idiot. He sounded like an idiot because all he could say was that Bill Obama was black and that's why I support him. Not on his ideas, not that's on his concepts. Mind. Until we decide that this country is far more important than our whole race aspect. I, I love this country. I love this country. I, wanna, I want that guy to, and Patrice asked a good question. I want to, Patrice, you asked this guy a good question. I didn't hear his answer about uh, what do you think is racial about the country. I would like to hear his response because I didn't hear that. What was the question you asked him? I, I, it was something about what... Yeah, do you think this country is racial? Of course it's racial. So that means you, but you sound like you've, you've made it despite the racism in this country, correct? Like every other race. Like every yeah. other race. Every other race. As, including myself, that I make it despite 
how this country treats us. I'm not saying no. that with this is an excuse. This country treats us like garbage, dude. And and, and for and you to say it doesn't, does this like does garbage. this country treat black people like garbage? Everybody like garbage. Are you, well, Everybody, really? That's what that's white right. person got treated yeah. like garbage? The same, historically. But that's that's well, where well, I'm at well, with this well, guy. We well, all well, get well, treated well, like, like garbage. Historically. Hold on, let him answer. I want to hear. Let me answer. They're, they're, everybody's being treated like garbage, and I'll tell you how. I agree with that, man. I agree with that. People standing in for food stamps, and you know what? We, those who make it, make it. Those who don't, who don't. That's the American way. Dude, and you're allowed, to, you're allowed to feel like that, but say, I'm going to tell you, you've you never had an experience. You've you never had an experience to oh, have you realize that. That's where you are right. so well, wrong. Wait, how is he wrong? How is he wrong? How am I wrong? How is he wrong? I am your... I, I'm your age. I what happened to you to feel this I way? I have experienced racism to the utmost. But what I, have you experienced? Make a difference. What I went to a, have I you? Know, and I, do you understand how you're sounding? You you you're not being honest, man. You're saying the goofy. You're, you're no, talking for white people. But you have no stand against a black man who has equal intelligence to you, who's experienced what you've experienced. What? I, I asked you a question. What did you experience? What? And I understand that everybody... Eric, hey, yo, uh, answer hey, the question. Hey, what have you experienced? Answer the question, man. You answer the question. Yeah. Good. I started high school in... A, I mean, my... Uh, my uh, Elementary school to uh, my junior high school years were all in an all-black school. My parents moved to an all-white neighborhood. I was the third family in an all-white neighborhood in the late 70s, early 80s. I experienced racism. The N-word was used every time that I went around. I still made... I did everything in my power to compete with them on their level, on intellect, okay. uh, on the levels of, of you know, athleticism. Same thing as me. And guess what? Same I thing. Old. I'm, we're, we're, right now, we're not different, but but go ahead. Yeah, how were right. you able to move on right. from all that? Because Bertrand can't move on to any, uh, move on from any. Do of you that think stuff. that this and is? I'm, can I, I ask? I'm not saying. Hold up, Eric. Excuse my interruption. Can I, this is a, a white guy on the outside. This to me sounds. Are you are, like? A, a, are you think this is a black guy who is not in touch with his anger or rage at, at what? I mean, of course it, not. And I'm not even. I don't even use the word sell out this and sell out that. But this guy's been called that, and I'm and I'm and here's the thing. I relate to this guy. I relate to this guy on a level where I understand being an intelligent black man. You get you get a moniker of being a sellout, but you don't like black people. Wrong, wrong. I, I love black people. All right, we can continue. But you know what? I've also learned to love other people too. Me too. And because of that, I'm able to see the world as a me as too. We whole and not as an individual. All and right, that's right. why oh, I don't right. bother with it. White all people right. don't Thank even you, follow you, man. Well, sure. All right. That was interesting Patrice. to hear, though. Yeah, Patrice, just let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let well, it go. Gotta you're gonna, you're gonna get, I, I really want to just you gotta let get it go. over it, man. For your own health. You got, you know, just I, high I'm, blood pressure. I'm very over it. I'm it over it despite the situation. Let That's all I'm saying. Just let it all go. Spewing garbage. We, shut up. We need you to just <laughs> be Shut like, up with your white friends around clapping you. Yay, you <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> I'm getting you a meditation class for. Uh... See, that's why we like Byron. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> you gonna, you have to. You stop. know how many white friends I got? You jackass. Yeah. Very few. <laughs> well, you know how many white people I claim that? You know how many, you know how many, how many white friends I got think you I have? You know how, many, got you there. you know how many white comics will do a gig with you to split the driving cost? <laughs> we should do a secret ballad. You should write down all the white friends you have, and then we'll go to those people and see if they're I don't actually even, friends. I don't even want to know. <laughs> I know when it comes down to it, they'll run for their lives. But there's a few. <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to be your friend, but you don't invite me to your damn barbecues. And you go, ah, you wouldn't go. Yeah. So you don't give me the invites. So what are you, you? Do? I'll, I'll invite you next time. Oh right. well, boy, thanks for throwing me a bone. Hey, there you go, black president. Whatever. Oh, barbecue. now it's okay to. to hey, to have with, your, hey, we got to start barbecue? somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna start with inviting you to a barbecue. I'm moving on. All right. I'm moving on like my friend from wherever he is with well, all his white friends. Eric from and Cleveland. He think he's loved. Well, we did good there. We took two phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> we have twenty on hold easily. Opie and Anthony. I listen. There. I promise you, shut up. up. Where are you? Uh, you plugging anything? I'm in at comics on um, December 26th, 27th. Oh, Christmas. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, that's a great. That's a great weekend. I mean, especially oh, if you're no. gearing up for Atlantic City the month after. <laughs> what? <laughs> Patrice and I together. <laughs> A month. <laughs> All right. Ain't about me. It's about us. Yeah. <laughs> All All right. Right. It ain't fair. All right. More phones right after the break. <laughs> I'm just mad today. Hopi and Anthony. I'm mad because uh, we we couldn't talk movies with Patrice, video games, uh, 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 sports, 
This was all encompassing. Today. I have a question. But good radio. I have a question. Yes, Jimmy. Two is a black band. When do you know? Uh, 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 I was Dr. King was always a hero of mine growing up. Martin Luther King. When is his birthday? Yeah. Um, birthday. Yeah. It is in. Uh, yeah. It's in January. Yeah. January what? January twentieth. No. Nope. And what do you do to celebrate his birthday? Yeah. Right. What do you do? I I beat white people. Well, if you and want, I hose them. You know what I do to celebrate? <laughs> I always do this. I, I perform oh, no. in Atlantic City. <laughs> <laughs> it's January 15th is the great doctor's birthday, but the 16th, what? 17th, what? I perform at the Borgata. That's how I celebrate Watch Batman's me. birthday. I got to tell you, you got me too, man. You got me too. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny came in and told me it's Martin Luther King weekend. Wow, <laughs> right, thank you, somebody. Oh, your acting was really good there, too. Uh, Anthony not here today. Um... Uh, Fair to say, Anthony will have a few things to say tomorrow. You might uh, want to wake up early tomorrow. I, I won't listen. I'll just let it happen, and then All right. the day we're in together, we'll we'll hug. I know you guys will be here together December 1st. Okay. So that's going to be a big day. I'll talk a to A fight Anthony. to end all fights. I bet you it's not as big a fight as you think. I no. Bet, I hope not. No, I'll have no, to be no. the codependent one. <laughs> because we've had these conversations before. It's just It's not a big deal. It's just now... Uh, he he ha with great racism comes great responsibility. He has, he has too many of these crazy crackers um, saying things like uppity. And anytime white lady, you're in the mall at um, Ross Ross Clothing buying your crappy belt and your nasty plastic shoes, and you bump into a white woman in the, a black woman in the same store, she's not being uppity. She's the same broke idiot as you. So please stop thinking you're better. Because you're white. You're not. Let's say hi to Sean from Brooklyn uh, because of the discussion. He's a black guy. Just All so right, people know what's going on enough. here. Sean, what do you got? What's going, what's going on, guys, man? Hey, man. hey Jimmy. Hi, hey, Sean. Man. And uh, what's up with the other dude over there? Let me tell you something. I'm a black dude. I'm a real black dude. Yeah. I live in East New York. I don't live in Hollywood. I don't, I'm not a comic. I work 60 hours a week. For dude to get on there, Patrice I'm talking about, and to say that Obama is not black, he's half African and half white. Yep. I got news for you, dog. Check this out. Every black man in America is half African and half white. Where did they get the slaves from? No, they're not. No, they're not. Where did they get the slaves from? You're talking, you, here's the thing you're doing right now. You're being emotional. You didn't hear what I said. No, I don't exactly you're, what you said. That, that he's black in this country because of what? Because of his skin. Exactly. That's my point exactly. I made. Am I lying? You're not lying. So what so are you, you upset about? That he's not a black man. No, 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 no. See, African here's the thing. Here's black the black thing black I can black. hear from you. Here's the thing I can hear from you. No, you see, can't. see, the thing is, by what you're saying, by how you qualified yourself by saying you're a real black dude, right? I'm a, I'm see, a, I didn't... I, this is our problem. We right. qualify ourselves... As real black, real this, real that, by our experience and, and keeping it real and this. Your voice is not the same as the other dude, and your voice is not the same as mine. Dude, you from East New York, I hear it. You probably, you probably don't play games and the whole thing, you're not a comic. And really what you was doing, in an emotional way, is you was insulting me. Yo, I'm not Hollywood, I'm not, you know, I'm not a comic. You dismiss me. This is our problem, is that we can't be different. We can't be different and be the same. What I'm saying is when I say he's not black, okay, I mean he is not, it's not a generational thing that's deep in him because we've been locked up in this country f since 1619. He's, let me tell you, Africans don't give him to us. Africa thinks that it, it's their, he's, he's theirs. He, look, they said that they export presidents to this country. They disrespect black bro, people. Bro, they don't bro, look at us like that. Bro. I'm telling you. Patrice, when I said a real black man, I mean a real N-word, okay? Right. I, I don't know if I can say it over the radio. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. When I say that, I mean that, bro, I work 60 hours a week. You hear what I'm saying? I hear you. I work 60 hours a week. I work... On, on the weekend, doing a little bouncing job at a little Mexican club. I, I got my granddaughter because my son is on the street right now talking about he's on the grind so he can get $600 Prada shoes. I'm the same age as you. You understand what I'm okay, saying? Okay, I'm, I'm here. So my perspective is going to be different than yours. Just because you got money, I don't think there's a oh, difference. I don't got no money, wait dude. I don't have... See, wait, 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 I can't wait a second because you just think you think something of me that ain't true. 
I don't have no money like that. You missing the whole point. All right, what is the what is your point? I'm coming from emotional. What I'm saying is you can get on there and you can talk ha ha funny jokes and that. This Did you feel like I was being ha ha funny? See, that, that, this is what's going on. I'm gonna tell you what's going on right now. And it's it's our problem. This is our problem. What's going on? Oh, you gonna let me say what I got? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> But, but I'm saying, how do you throw in, you, you're insulting me, right? But then you want to keep going. I can't retort. I can't get oh, in there. Retort. You dismiss me four times already. I don't have the money you think I do. Let me tell you how easier, let me tell you how easy my life would be if, if I smiled and shucked and jived and, 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 and felt and didn't tell people how I feel. Or were just nice. You understand? That's what it is, dude. I'm telling you, I like all that. of this, all of this, keeping it, all of this thing where, yo, I'm a real N-word and all that. What the, what does that mean? This is what I'm saying, dude. What does that mean? Everybody, we're all qualifying what black I'm, I'm is. The one, when you ask, when you ask the other dude from Cleveland, what makes, what, what racism have you experienced and what makes you different from somebody else? Like I said. Oh, so, okay, what is the point? So what you're saying is, I'm crazy for thinking Every that this country's racist? I fit the profile, so don't ask me about what kind of um. So what is your what is your beef with me? I don't think he was. Hold on, I don't think Patrice. I don't think that guy was dismissing you. I think he was just like saying I'm not these other things that you've mentioned okay, before. You could fair mention. enough. But what is your beef with me? When when I'm what am my I beef, saying my, that ain't right to you? you? My beef with you is for you to say that Obama is not a black man. That he's an African. I'm, Yes. And a half white. Bro, you're but you got to understand my point. What's his name? Brought over here and Troy? Got John. John. Sean. And therefore, this, that's where you come in. No, no, Sean. No, just listen to me, Sean. Let me, let me, let me, let me try to, let me try to say what I meant by that. Okay. What I'm trying to say is, and I could have said it wrong, that oh, the, the country is so racial and so racist that anybody black will be black by their color not their experience not it's just the fact that black people are black because of our skin and white people are white because of their skin i'm saying that not that he ain't no real brother i'm saying the dude is first generation african he's not you and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm saying that he's black because that's how racial the country is, is that they qualify us just by skin. That's my point. Okay, all right. So I'm sorry for dissing you four times, but let me say one thing to you. When If you've seen Obama, and you don't know he's Obama from, from you know, a hole in the wall. Right. You just happen to see him on the street. You couldn't look at him and say, he's first generation African. He's black. Exactly. Right. There you go. Because of his color. Exactly. But you don't see white people as Irish. Or you can't exactly. through ethnicity. No, tell. I, don't see, I don't see anybody yeah. as anybody. I just see him as a dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm, I'm a real N-word. But I work with, with, with white people. Because you have white right. friends. I work with everybody. But we're not talking about your friends, Sean. We're talking no, about just, the I country. Just, we're talk I have white friends. I, there's white people I truly love as people. And they're my right. friends. But And you probably have white guys because you work so hard that, dude, you have a beer with them. You probably fought with them and you love them. But we're talking about the country, man. You feel how you right. feel because of the right. country. Right. But see, what you have to understand is in order for us to be able, and um, Anthony was asking about a solution, and I'm going to give you the solution, in order for us to be able to move on to the next level where race relations and racism and racistness, whatever buzzwords everybody want to put on it, is, um, is going to get better, we, and I'm saying we now because I'm including you, now I'm embracing you. Okay, first I had to spank you, now I'm going to embrace you. You think you spanked me? We, Are you we, out we, your uh, mind? Uh, what is this, a uh, rap uh, battle uh, song? Uh, <laughs> uh, you uh, spanked me? Yeah, Jimmy and I <laughs> spelt it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, Sean, you, point. you knocked we, him around a little bit, now make him feel better. <laughs> That's right. Uh -huh. we, we, we all felt I it. I love when they end fight. We as black people, <laughs> yo, yo, stupid. We as black people first have to. Got Lesnar talking at Couture right other. now. <laughs> we as black people first have to.
We have to embrace each other. You understand what I'm saying? All right, Sean. We have to be able to get past the barriers of just because you got a little bit of chips and I ain't got no chips. Yep, exactly. You, you, yep, you funny ha ha or yep, whatever. Yep, yep. Again, I, I, with I, I, the you got I, chips. He's right. He's what right. is he talking? Do you see where it's going? Uh, he's, yeah, he's, this, he's, yep. this is why we can't Couldn't win. agree more, Sean. That's right, That's Sean. what he's got. Patrice has some chips. <laughs> yep. and, and, and he is slightly uppity, but I like the fact that <laughs> Sean smacked him around. Yeah. Patrice, comment. Patrice, comment? On what? On what Sean said? I already commented.